Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Rant for June 13th. And boy, oh boy, do I got so much to just let out because I... I'm not going to say that the Mets should have won today's game. Because that's just not thinking very logical. But... I will say that Luis Rojas is a bonehead idiot that does not know how to manage. And any commentator out there that's saying that he's a good manager and he has managed his team full of injuries to be first place, it's out of their f***ing mind. And excuse the language because I am not here to just sugarcoat this. Luis Rojas is a god-awful manager. No joke, bad. And why do I even know he's bad? Because the fact is, you go into today's game with Joey Lucchisi pitching. And he has pitched pretty good the last couple of games. And you're going into this game with a, a, a short bullpen. And he gives you five innings of wonderful baseball. Gave up one run, which was a home run in the first inning. And then, no, and then shut the door down on the San Diego Padres for four innings. And... All this with 72 pitches. 72 pitches. He was asked if he could have gone longer. And he says, yeah, he felt good. But, you know, he respects Luis Rojas' decision. He's being a... a, 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 a he's taking the high road. Let's be honest. Luis Rojas, what the hell were you thinking? You pull him so you could then put Familia for two innings. I barely trust Familia for one inning, and you're going to put him in for two. And I understand, your bullpen is short. Fine, your bullpen is short. But Familia did not pitch good in that first inning. He got saved by a double play. And yes, he is a single ball pitcher, so you will assume that that's what he's going to produce. But he's also wild. And when he came in that second inning and... and, and let it off with a walk. I'm like, oh god, this this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Then he gives up a hit, I think it was, and then he walks someone, and then he walks in the time run, and I'm like, this is just disaster written all over it. And then he gives up the home run. I don't even know if it was him to give. No, uh, Barnes gave up the home run. But either way, whoever gave up the home run, it's all on Familia and Luis Rojas. Because that should never have been the situation. Because look, even if, if you don't trust the, the Joey Lucchisi, your bullpen is short, let him give you some innings. You got to know if he can pitch or not. Oh, no. And then on top of that, we already know, Syndergaard ain't coming back till, till September, and that's if we, no, we're lucky. Carrasco probably not coming back till August. Let's, let's, we we got to be very realistic. You know, he was already been delayed like six times already. Come on, let's let let's not get our hopes up that he's gonna show up in July. So let's go with what we have, and so far he's not pitched bad. I mean, he started bad. Don't get me wrong; his first outings were horrendous, but he's gotten better and better and better. And yes, it sucked that he gave up a home run that first inning, but he showed you four innings in a row that he was pitching just fine, and you took him out. For no reason. No reason. There was no reason to take him out. And then the lineup. We got to talk about this lineup because I understand you don't have your regulars. But at the same time, why is Dominic Smith batting fourth? The dude's like 0 for 30 right now. He's the double play machine. If there's someone on first, I am panicking that he's going to double play and getting ground up to double play. And guess I'm wrong. I'm a Dominic Smith fan. But at the same time, right now, this year, he has not been the Dominic Smith from last year or the year before. And in, in this case, he's been worse because he's been the, the, the guy who just you can't trust with someone on first. And he's batting fourth. Oh my God, it just made no sense. It makes no sense. The lineup makes no sense. But guys, it, let me know. You do, am I going crazy? Am I wrong for this to think this way? Should I not be thinking that the Mets 
that Luis Rojas is a bad manager? It, 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 am I the only one that thinks that? Do you, And if you think he's a good manager, please, please write in the comment why he's a good manager. I need other people's feedback now because not because you're going to convince me that he's a good manager because that's not happening. But at least I could kind of argue you know, and, and, and see your logic and why you think that way. Anyway, guys, tomorrow the Mets start a four-game series with the Cubs. And the next four weeks with the Mets are going to be very, very, very tough. But I think if the Mets are, are going to make it, this is the series. This is the, 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 the stretch of games they're going to have to win and win majority of them. Um, we got no help from our, 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 our rivals on the other side because they got swept by the Phillies. So thanks. Thanks, Yankees. You know, I, I don't ever I don't try to cheer for you guys, but. I cheered this weekend, and I guess uh, I guess maybe it's me. Maybe me cheering this guy you have to lost. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of everything I said today. The Mets will lose 7-3. Um, the Mets won yesterday. I didn't do a Mets recap. I was at a wedding, but the Mets did win yesterday. So at least they won their series yesterday. And um, we're still in first. We're still in first. Let's go Mets.